was a commercial airline pilot with an extremely windy day and he had a particularly difficult landing and of course the plane landed with a very loud thud and he was a little nervous greeting the passengers coming out of the out of the plane thinking they'd say something but most of them were just fairly nice except for the very, there was an elderly woman coming off the plane with their daughter and the elderly woman said to her captain can i ask you a question and the captain said sure ma'am what is it she said did we land or did we get shot down <laughs> You know, my friends, Jesus says to his disciples today, do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. Does fear control your life, my friends, or anxiety or all sorts of troubled thoughts and feelings? It's amazing, isn't it? He said that to his disciples years ago, and it's still very, very relevant, isn't it? Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid, he said. What does it do when we have constant anxiety like that? Or our hearts are troubled over whatever reasons? What's it do to us? There was another Air Canada flight. And as they were flying from Canada to the United States, all of a sudden, and those that weren't watching movies said it became completely silent on the plane. All the massive engines ab abruptly stopped. And then, shortly thereafter, they made a dramatic landing on a military airfield. And it was a crash landing, very heavily damaged the plane itself, completely destroyed the landing gear, but nobody was injured. Just sh shook up. What happened was that the digital fuel gauge was out of order, and then there was miscalculations by the crew, the refueling crew, they confused pounds for kilograms, so they miscalculated 800 miles short of their destination. And so the plane simply ran out of gas or fuel. But you know, the article that I was reading about it said it was amazing that, you know, with all the latest technology that this plane had, and it did, it was an impressive aircraft that cost millions and millions of dollars. It was headed in the right direction, but it ran out of fuel. It ran out of fuel. And you know, this article that I was reading was saying that exact same thing. When our hearts are constantly troubled and full of fear and anxiety, that's how we feel. That's how we feel. And how true that is. It takes a toll on our bodies. And that's why Jesus says, do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. And then he gives a remedy. Then he gives a remedy for us. There was a woman that had a, had a couple children, but her youngest was Walter. Walter was curious and asked questions all the time. And like most children, they can stretch us sometimes, can't they? Little Walter, kept asking his mother after she came up to communion, what are you doing up there, Mom? And she kind of said, shh. She kind of quieted up. What are you eating? And she kind of thinking, hopefully, that he'll quiet little Walter down. And Walter kept up for months. And finally, after two months, she said, Walter, I'm receiving Jesus. And little Walter continued the conversation. She's hoping, oh, he'd stop. She said to him, or he said to her, Mom, does he speak to you? And you know, 
after these conversations, she said, you know, my little boy taught me the preciousness of a great gift. Because I took it for granted until my little Walter started asking, what are you doing up there, Mom? And she said, it's amazing when she started changing her attitude and realizing what she was receiving. She said, you know, he does speak in our hearts. He does speak to our hearts. And that's exactly what Jesus says. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. I will come back to you and make my dwelling with you. Interesting, isn't it? He knows that we need communion, doesn't he? And sometimes, my friends, we just come up, receive, go back to our seats and go our merry way. Sometimes we need a little Walter in our life. What are you receiving when we come up there? What are you doing up there, Mom? What are you doing? Does he speak to you? It's amazing, my friends. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. I will come to you and make my dwelling within you. God bless you.